Trick or treat! Ooh, that hurts my throat. It's me, Vicky Licks. Hi, everyone! <laughs> Here for a very special Halloween edition of Queer Comics. Boom! Ooh! Ever so spooky, 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 spooky! I look kind of frightening. That's good. This week we're just having fun. We're dressing up. We're enjoying a cocktail. Or two. <laughs> it's counting. I'm home alone, so I can have what I like. <laughs> this is the season of pumpkins. I love a good pumpkin. I love pumpkin pie. Oh my god, I could totally mow down on a pumpkin pie right now. Put that in a woman's lap and you better know I'm gonna eat her pie. <laughs> oh, you're a dirty pumpkin. Dirty pumpkin. I love dressing the fuck up. That's what I've made my life about. So I'm all about Halloween. I always love dressing up. I've been dressing up since I was four or five years old. Any kind of costume you have as a kid, uh, you kind of have to put under uh, a couple layers of snow suits. I'm from Northern BC. That's, it gets cold. And by that time of year, you got snow at Halloween. So you, they just look like fat marshmallow people. So I basically just wore my snowsuit and just the, the, the vampire cape. That's what I wore. That was my costume every year. I was also a really cute ghost though. I would have just a sheet with the holes in it and maybe and a toque over top. So it was it was a, it was a snow ghost. How adorable is that? <laughs> I really haven't actually celebrated Halloween to the extent that I have until I actually moved to Toronto. I can definitely say that I was a, a drag queen born out of Halloween, so it's kind of my birthday. It really is Vicky Licks's birthday. They say that every Halloween a million drag queens are born, and that the day after, uh, all but one of them die. And that's true, that is true. Because people realize that drag, this shit, this shit ain't easy. Mm -mm. It's a real commitment to want to do this 365 days a year. I dressed up 365 days a year. Most of those days is a total fucking slut. So, you know, I, I own I own the Halloween as far as I'm concerned. And this really is my gay Christmas. When I book it off in my book at work, I write, you know, I have to have this. This is my gay Christmas, okay? It's my Hanukkah. It's my Kwanzaa. It's my Scientology rock to the moon day. That's what it is. I'm not even sure what the original uh, concept behind Halloween was. I mean, you know, I've always wondered about like how Halloween has become what it is now. I mean, the original Halloween, of course, was uh, pagan witches and warlocks kind of uh, dancing around a cauldron. But now it's become, you know, you know, dress up, uh, go to knock on people's doors to get candy, and um, hope that somebody doesn't slit your throat in the process. I, I really truly love Halloween so much because it is such a different holiday. It stands out so much from the rest of this year. It, it's all about, uh, you know, becoming what you aren't, throwing on a costume, which by the way, you wear every day anyways. If you're putting on a three-piece suit, that's still a costume with the big thing this year. What are people dressing? Caitlyn Jenner? Is that what people are dressing up as? I don't know. Is it too soon? Can we do that? Can we dress up like Caitlyn Jenner? Not sure. Now, Halloween is all about dressing up and becoming, you know, what you've always wanted to try being. And it's about, you know, scaring each other, pushing each other's limits to the brink. And it's really just about, you know, pushing yourself to live your life as hard as you can. One night a year. And uh, that's why we as drag queens, we celebrated 365 days a year. I hope that's how many days are in a year. I have the broadest shoulders in the world. How is this not sitting on my shoulders? And Halloween is all about getting laid nowadays, too. Oh, it's all about how slutty you can look. And there's a slutty everything nowadays. You're dressing up like slutty ladybugs, slutty bumblebees, a slutty squirrel. Really, they should all be dressing up like slutty beavers, because at the end of the night, they're just wanting to mow down on some wood. <laughs> and I love to go out on Church Street, the gay street in Toronto. Uh, and uh, everybody dresses up. They close the street down. One year I saw someone dress up as their Facebook profile page. You know, their, their head was like through a uh, cardboard thing. And it was kind of, it was a clever idea, sure. But they had obviously had far too much to drink because they were just throwing up. 
the entire time, and it was just this Facebook thing where bleh, I really could not help myself, and I just went under it, and I went, ah, Vicky likes this. My favorite is walking by the adult uh, stores and their uh, Halloween design in the windows, what they do every year. One year, I remember they had like uh, dildos with like blood on the bottom of them to look like a bunch of severed dicks, I guess. So it was just like a window full of like severed dicks. Points for creativity, but really in the end, that is pretty fucked up. I don't know. So I wish I had a real slut story of when I was, you know, dressed up like a cucumber and I ended up fucking like 20 guys in an orgy maze underground somewhere. But that never happened. Except for in my pumpkin mind. <laughs> Remember to always check your candy. If somebody puts slips you like a healthy granola bar, you throw that shit out. And if it's a condom party, make sure you check those condoms. No holes in those condoms. You don't want a Halloween baby. That's like some demon shit. You don't want that. Think about, just think, and find this out there, think about, you know, living your life like every day is Halloween because it is a beautiful thing to realize that we are all just living Halloween every day of the year regardless. You get your spooky bitch face on and we'll be back in two weeks. That's right, two weeks. Because we need some time to recover from our Halloween. Boom! And remember, this is the one night you can always take candy from strangers. <laughs> I almost died! Oh, jeez. <laughs> Happy Halloween! <laughs>